<laughs> Hello, spooky one today. Just kidding. <laughs> Happy rosy curly glasses. This week's ma uh, mantra is, oh, I woke up with it this morning. It was amazing. So I woke up saying as I was waking up, I am the light of the world. And then the second bit came in, which said, and I am loving my shadow fully. I am loving up my shadow fully. So the full thing is, I am the light of the world and I am loving up my shadow fully. Yes, it's Halloween. It is the time when the veil between the underworld and the other world and the ethers and this world all come together. And we get to connect with our ancestors and connect with our shadow and also to discover the light that we are. And so this week's mudra, very, very powerful, like, it's all about facing your shadow at the moment, okay? When we're actually dealing with um, sort of moving into the darker months as well here in the UK, we, we're in a place where it's like, allow the darkness to come out, bring light and love to the darkness. And this weekend has been all about facing my shadow. I've literally been fighting demons in my sleep. I've had to remember the Lord's Prayer just to come out of, you know, this paralysis, this sleep paralysis, which is also the terror that binds us all and keeps us stuck in our ways and stuck being autonomous automatrons doing what we're told and not actually challenging what's going on and going excuse me what are the repercussions of this more information please and we all need more information so I want you all to stand in your light and in your darkness this whole week yeah so we're going to use Naga Mudra to do this and the way you do that is you take your right hand okay I'll do it like this um, and you place it around your left hand so like this right thumb in left thumb above okay so I'll do it like this so you can see as well, or maybe even here. So you've got your left hand in front, right hand behind. Bring your right thumb in and then take the left thumb on top, okay? And that is basically Naga Mudra. So you hold it in front of your heart and you cultivate a whole load of fire in your pelvis. This is your pelvic floor. This is your sexual energy. It's getting with your sexual lusty energy and what it actually means and kind of going with it and saying, all right, let me rise this up. Let me take it from the base. Let me move it into the heart. Let me do good things with this. Let me be in integrity in my choices and my decisions. And let me also face all of the shadow aspects of my being that I don't like to bring out and I don't like to show the world. And this is so important. The self-honesty is so so important because this is how we get to be authentic and we get to be transparent so allow your shadow to rise love your shadow give permission to bring light to all of the parts of you the shame the guilt the the places where you feel that you you don't actually fully live up to your potential and shine out your truth because you're scared that you will be judged all of this needs to come up and just be held. It's okay, just hold it in yourself. Be loving and we have more unicorns to help us, okay? Uh, these are from Doreen Virtue's uh, Magical Unicorn Set. And the unicorns we've got are, finish what you've started. So Naga Mudra is gonna really help you with that because what Naga Mudra does is it helps you to come to an understanding uh, and to understand things that you haven't actually um, got an answer to yet so you know any question in your life where you just don't know which direction to go to Naga Mudra will clear away everything that's um, not true that's illusion to bring you to truth and to move out of fantasy into what is real and pragmatic and to use your fantasies to fuel your your practical life and to inspire your life so that it is magical even though it's your reality the second one is let go of stress, okay? The unicorn of letting go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress, breathe, breathe it out now. So you use the mudra to clear up your own energy channels, okay? And then you use the mudra to also protect your force field. So you create an energy field all around you and this prevents you from taking on the stress of others. Having just come out of three weeks of being ill because I needed to clear my pain body and my emotional body, it is really important to keep your field strong. And the way that you do that is you don't take too much on, learn to say no, and also try turning your Wi-Fi off at night. It will really help you to sleep. More on that another time, but try it and see how it helps your energy field to feel stronger. Have a beautiful one. Enjoy the veils thinning. Enjoy the fact that we're moving out of illusion into transparency, into light. It's a wonderful thing. Let everything shine because you know what? We all deserve to shine. On that note, I shall shine my very red shadow. Bye now.